Hi Aries, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 16th of March till the 22nd and I'm going to use the charms again and I'm going to use the crystal ball and the wildwood tarot and the house of shadows oracle deck and it is really Lenormand but uh, they have just done a review on that The House of Shadows by Monica Bosinski and I think they're awesome and I've got my angel from Brenda and my crystal ball that was given to me by my sister and all my other stones I'm crazy about stones okay let's get started and if you're new welcome to the channel and uh, please subscribe and hit that bell then you'll be notified when I go live I do appreciate it if you would subscribe because that will make our channel even or our family much bigger because I am going live in with the English language on Monday and Friday and if you know Dutch then you can join as well on Wednesday night uh, as Wednesday night is totally Dutch, Dutch spoken and um, the family is getting back big rapidly and I love all my cyber angels thank you for coming back I do appreciate that and that you I also appreciate that you share the videos with family and friends and the thumbs up underneath the videos it keeps us in the uh, search uh, robot and uh, it helps so make sure that you are subscribed to your favorite readers because uh, a lot of readers have lost viewers through the alpha because of the alpha rhythm so make sure that you are still uh, signed up to your favorite channels now i'm going to um, talk and clean the crystal ball and i love the crystal ball i use i like doing it better at day but this is th you're the first ones that i'm doing it at night and I've got powerful lights so we'll able be able to see uh, what is inside the crystal ball for you you can see that I've got no cards here so this is purely that's what is coming uh, through me and I'm working with my guides and my angels and the universe thank you very much angels and the universe for being with me and showing me what I may tell if it doesn't resonate with you then please look at your rising sign and your sun sign I'm not putting my energy into the ball I clean the ball after every uh, session and it's I've cleaned it with a pure cotton cloth um, also there's new developments so have a look at the end screen um, and the videos that I've placed there news and updates and um, there is also a new series that I'm doing with a, a, a real witch okay that was a great success so we're continuing the collaboration and I'm also working uh, with other readers from YouTube they're awesome so um, uh, let's get started Oh wow, I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, six big glittery things and two small ones on the side. So there might be a gathering of people uh, of six, six, uh, so keep six in the mind. Let's see whether that number is going to come up anywhere else there is also it looks like an island um, and you might be going on holiday or live on an island I get I get uh, what was it called Bayside is that an island I don't know why but um, I do get the name Bayside there's also a lotus flower and lotus flower is the crown chakra the crown chakra so you might be opening up to the universe or the energy of the universe and the angels 
uh, you might be psychic or sensitive you might be getting new ideas um, perhaps you might sit down and contemplate or meditate quite a while and evaluate your new ideas note them down I also see like it's like if you're coming back I know I'm jumping from one subject to another but that is what happens it's like a coastal road with all the lights with all the lights it's like if you're going for a drive and you're mapping things out perhaps ideas you're mapping ideas out you know whether it resonates to you or not I also see white lights although I haven't got white light shining now okay um, also see dark it's like if it's evening and you're going out I also see a circle with a center in it a circle it could be a ring it could be a ring like if you've got a ring and then you've got a open or a void circle in it so you might be getting a ring or a bracelet strange how things come about when you're looking into the crystal I don't know I'm getting I'm getting the idea of a dinner party dinner party perhaps you might have fairy lights or Christmas lights garden lights and you're holding a party when it is dusk it's not dark dark it's just like dark dust okay let's have a look it's beautiful that circle that I saw and with the the void and other circle in it like a ring could also be a wheel it could also be a hubcap that's also what I'm getting in are you getting a new car have you got a car and I see a soft top a soft top and I also see a heart in well somebody's nuts about their car <laughs> that's their baby that's what I'm hearing okay and the color could be red red and gold something is edged with gold I don't know it doesn't have to be the car could something could be edged with gold red and gold yes here I see again gold gold okay I think I'm going to leave it there so we've got number six gold cars wheels rings so let's see what I can't see what I'm grabbing because my hand is so big uh, I'm just looking away now you'll have to trust me the beads are in the way I can't Uh, you've got two oh, beats so I'll go back the anchor is coming out again and the feather is lying on the anchor now and we've got the female Fem I think it's the female it's the male or the female I'm trying to come on come on come on again to again I'll take the green because the green came out before and I've got the heart look at this that's the heart chakra I'll take them both and 
I would like you to remember that the feather is on the anchor, right? Those are your charms. Okay, Aries. I hope you didn't mind me uh, disturbing you there. I had to. I was. I'm also busy editing uh, videos at the same time as I'm doing your reading. So that's why you might uh, notice that I've put it on pause. Okay, my darling. So let's um, have a look what the cards the um, Wildwood Tarot have in store for you. And I really like. I don't know why, but I make sure that they're really shaken well. Okay, let's see which one will flip out. I hope you're having a nice weekend. Okay, that's two cards. Okay. Sometimes they flip out much better, quicker than other times. And I find that frustrating. But that one has flipped. You've got two more. Okay. So there we go. And this is your bottom of the deck. Right. Let's see whether what the card's are going to say. Sorry, I'm wearing a headset and some I forget <laughs> that you can most probably hear what I'm saying. Okay. That's the first one. That's the second one. That is also is that one. They're quite thick cards, these, and I like that because then they don't damage so quickly, and then the deck will last. That one popped out, and this is the House of Shadows. Here we go. Now you've got the angel feather, so the angels are with you. Okay, you might all of a sudden next week or this coming week, you might see a lot of feathers, but know that your angel is with you. And the anchor is coming out big time this week, and the anchor is yes, an answer, yes. You're coming home to a safe haven. You feel safe and protected. You've put your anchor down somewhere. And it reminds me of the charm, hope, faith, and love. Like the, the ring is uh, love, like marriage. And then you've got the ankh, right? The cross, protection, luck, faith. And then you've got the anchor itself coming home. The sailors used to wear that. This is the old wife's tale that I know. Then you've got the masculine sign. So there might be a, a, a something with a man. Well, it looks like you might be meeting a man. Okay. And it was pointing like that towards the anchor. Then we've got the green bead, that's the heart chakra, space, and green means also space and healing and money for me. Okay, and then you've got the heart, a very delicate heart. Beautiful. And you've got the heart chakra. So let's see what that means, open your heart. You might be opening your heart to a man or a man might be opening his heart to you. There's definitely something to do with faith, hope, and luck, and love. Okay, the first card you have is the Five of Cups, the Five of Vessels. So Aries, don't cry over spilled milk, okay? And in this deck it says ecstasy, ecstasy. Yo, she's dancing for joy here. So, ecstasy. You might be happy. 
you might not be crying about spilled milk because usually you see two cups being or three cups being spilled or two and two cups standing so I'm taking that with you with me uh, in this definition or clarification of the card so leave the past the past and celebrate uh, what you have don't look at what you don't have but she's celebrating what she has she knows that she can change the present and the future she's in her power that's why she's doing her magical dance now the tower in Lenamon uh, means that uh, it's in this deck the reader or uh, the author also says it could be a mature man so there could be a mature man coming into your life an ambitious man but you might be ambitious as well because the tower is long and tall so that's the H a mature man okay uh, there could be an age difference between you and a man that could be an how I interpret it. You might be ambitious but if you uh, get to the top it's okay to be ambitious but it is also wise not to forget the people around you. This mature man could be your father or an uncle so don't forget them because they support you and love you whilst you're busy working your way to the top or where you want to be. Okay, you might be moving to high rise you've got number 19 and that's a 10 so a number 10 is an ending a new beginning right now what um, uh, the tower also means is I keep that in the back of my mind is that in tarot the tower means unexpected changes because the top of the tower is blown off by the lightning in the, in the um, tarot and there's people falling away and something is not being built or was not built on proper foundations like friendships or a job but in that is the difference between Lenamon and Tarot here you can see that the tower is standing straight and the flag is flying victory okay and it is built on proper foundations you can actually see the four corners it's standing Ooh, we've got the ghost here <laughs> so the tower is haunted I love it I love it okay the, the ghost could be something might be sweeping in all of a sudden okay new ideas because she f is floating through the air so that air is ideas communications okay in the middle of the week We've, I love this card, it's beautiful and it really exists in, I think it is in Wales you've got the five of bows, the five of swords and here it means empowerment you feel as if you are in your power and you've got two fives again five and five is an angel's number, 55 is a double number and five and five is ten, so an ending, a new beginning and lying next to each other okay beautiful so be careful with five of swords is the five of arrows you might feel empowered but make sure that you are careful with what you say and how you say and what you do because the five of swords represents in the traditional tarot uh, disagreements arguments war and nobody is a winner remember you can catch more flies with honey than with vinegar and the tower is uh, the sorry um, the mountains uh, are underneath it and here look at this big monster it looked like some monster with eyes this tower so you might be making mountains out of molehills look you don't have to climb the tower you can walk the path Three. this is 21 which becomes a 3 so be creative don't make mountains out of molehills or don't make an elephant out of a fly we all have our ups and downs so don't give anybody any ammunition 
by making more of an issue or making it seem worse than what it is okay then you won't have any arguments don't make problems okay Aries I know you can f be fiery because you're a fire sign but don't just take it easy relax you can take the path you can take your time in other words then you have the woodward number 11 how beautiful is that that is an also a double number and that's the doorway of the angels woodward you can see this man is just sitting there and he's got the cats like a puma or a lynx awesome and he's got the staff and this is the card justice now you don't see any scales here let's see where I can see the balance no I don't see the balance but he does have an other links on his head so perhaps you know the justice card is Libra so the air signs stand for wisdom thought communication justice honesty clarity so that could be the the mental and the physical boom that could be the balance okay trying to see something from a different perspective because we've got an eagle or a bird looking down from the big picture a helicopter view so something is going to become clear it has to be back in balance and somebody might off being slithery and slimy and ooh, the snake so there might have been some injustice done to you you've got number seven you will get clarity and you will get justice you you you'll get what you deserve you can see a little person sitting on a bench here with a book the letter of the law that's what I'm hearing so information will come forth the truth will come out so if you've been done wrong with contracts or something like that a snake in the grass or it could actually be a person a snake in the grass it could have been a Libra okay I don't know but the uh, justice is the card for Libra okay and now the information is going to come true it's going to come to surface and justice will be done so that's good news yeah don't worry about the past somebody might have been nasty to you and you saw it as a problem an issue and you wanted to fight but you stayed cool you were creative you went to seek advice from a lawyer or an advocate or a jurist or about uh, from somebody professional and they um, were the judge okay this could be also a Libra that judges a snake this could be anybody okay yeah, you've got the five of arrows here and you've got the five of uh, bow uh, no sorry the five of vessels the cups so it's a water sign that could be imminent or the air sign because you've got two cards here for air this is a person's card but definitely air is in the cards then we've got an other card and that's the queen of vessels the queen of vessels so it could also be Scorpio because the Queen of Vessels represents Scorpio so that's a water sign and an air sign so the prominent sign from the air signs is Libra and Scorpio now that could be deadly Scorpio is deadly <laughs> because once you make a Scorpio angry then boom they sting you and then it is end end of everything and you know it's no use making an argument with anybody whether they're Scorpio or not okay the Queen of Scorpio the Queen of Vessels 
right? She stands for love, passion, nurturing, sensuality, sexuality. So she might be a good support for you, and she will. She could be bringing you justice, because she's like a nurturing mum. But the, you've got good and bad in everything, okay? Even in the cards. So take the characters with a pinch of salt. It could also be a man with a nurturing side. He, this judge could be an air sign with a water in his chart, like the moon or the rising sign. That's why I don't really um, take too much notice. I don't put salt on everything, you know. So just keep it in mind. And then you've got the book. And that means the book means there are secrets. Somebody's kept a secret from you. Okay, this could be at the weekend. The book means secrets, or you might start a new study. But because we've got justice here, um, and emotions, and somebody sneaky, we've got the sneaky here as well. Uh, hang on a minute, uh, sneaky. Uh, yes, well, it is sneaky. The the mountains and cry. Um, fighting somebody's being sneaking might be provoking you don't give them any ammunition the truth will come out anyway okay the truth will come out you'll have to do more research and there might be an air sign or a water sign helping you to get this information i think it's going to be more likely to be a water sign because the snake is underneath justice something was not Somebody did you wrong, but remember, it will come back threefold, okay? If you've done, stayed good and didn't quarrel, it will come back threefold to you. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this beautiful moth. You've got the Four of Arrows. The Four of Arrows is the Four of Swords. It's time to take time out. To do a little retreat, to meditate, contemplate sit quietly and evaluate and because there is a butterfly beautiful butterfly this is your transformational period if you sit down quietly and you think things through or contemplation in quietness ideas will come to you that will bring you justice this is the overall energy in your quiet time it's something look at this this is so beautiful this is what I love about this deck it's different it, yes it's different it's got the basic meaning of tarot because it is tarot but I see so much more okay transformation the truth is coming out on Friday around the weekend and perhaps you've got the weekend to seek more information do research Okay, look at that. You've got the lily, the overall energy, a three. Again, creativity. You've been creative. You've seeked advice from a mature man, perhaps a professional. Like I said, a judge, a Jew, uh, an advocate or a lawyer. Luck is on your side um, with the lily. It also means business luck in business or in work so perhaps a contract was not correct or that somebody was sneaky in business seven luck you've got luck all around just persevere stay calm and cool don't make mountains out of molehills stay realistic it's okay to be ambitious okay that is really good okay now, we've got the man here, we've got big strong man, and uh, let's have a look, we've got the man sign here, so there will be, and here we've got, hold on, uh, I'm getting, here we've got the man, a mature man, and we've got the mature man here, so that is to do with this, this is your advisor, have hope. Like I still re see the anchor as hope, love and faith. So have faith, have hope and stay pure in heart. Love. Be gentle. And 
here you've got the ring something will come full circle okay number 11 the angels are with you that's the feather you might also see a lot of feathers so open your heart don't be scared there is protection around you a strong man open your heart you've got the heart okay beautiful okay I like it I, I think it's a positive reading although there's um, ups and downs like the mountains so long you don't give anybody ammunition to uh, fight with you you're staying balanced like the uh, justice then everything will go your way because the anchor is also a yes answer you're coming home to a safe haven and you're staying there because you feel comfortable just stay in your dreams your ambitions take it slowly okay you don't have to climb the mountain you can walk the path you've chosen the right path 19 is 10 new beginning awesome I hope you've enjoyed this reading Aries and take uh, what you can from the reading if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your moon sign and your rising sign I wish you all a lot of luck and remember the angels are with you that is angel um, Gabriel from the heart oh sorry Raphael I am it's late at night now I was going to go early to bed because I had the issue with Pisces I had to redo them whilst I was waiting for that to upload I started yours so I'm happy that I was able to do it for you tonight take care have a beautiful week and please subscribe and hit the bell and share with family and friends it is appreciated I'll see you in the live or in the next video ciao ciao